Olá a todos! Um, I am going live a couple of minutes early just because uh, I want to check that it's all working and going well. So I am very excited to see um, who is going to be joining me today, whereabouts in the world that you are from. So I'm hoping that uh, you will let me know using the comments. As you can see, I am dressed nice and festive uh, for the occasion. <laughs> I have a nice uh, Christmas sweater going on here, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> which is fun. Um, so yes, we are all ready and set to go. And I can see that lots of you are logging in already. Uh, so that is awesome. Give me a thumbs up in the chat if you can hear me and see me uh, and tell me where you are from. Derek's here. Devin's here from Hawaii. Eddie is here. Awesome. So that's two of my students who are here. Fantastic. Love from Egypt. Awesome. Okay, so primeiro eu quero saber, first I want to know, o que estão a beber? O que estão a beber? What are you drinking. Did you bring anything with you uh, for the festive workshop to have a Christmas drink? Eu estou a beber chá. I am drinking tea, um, which isn't that exciting, unfortunately, but you know, what can you do? It's uh, just a standard Thursday over here. So, oh, we have Akshay, amazing. We have Nigel from Ireland. Uh, this is lovely to see you. We have Jackie. Hi, Jackie. She's one of my Portuguese pros. Lovely to see you. All right, so we will just give it a couple more minutes to see who um, else is able to join us. Um, so Harry's here. Hi, Harry. Um, we are going to be today, what are we going to be doing? We are going to be looking at Christmas vocabulary, which is going to give us a chance to practice our pronunciation because you all know that I bang on about pronunciation all the time. It is so important that you get it right because that is what's going to help you be understood and also understand other people as well. So pronunciation with some Christmas vocabulary. We are also going to be looking at Christmas traditions in Portugal. And you are going to be telling me about the traditions in your country. Um, I know obviously not everybody cel celebrates Christmas, um, but those of you um, who do can tell me about what you do. So lots more people saying hello. Brittany's here. Hi, Brittany. Eric, amazing. Uh, Christian from Angola, awesome. So, uh, we were also going to be looking at a Christmas song, so I hope you get your vocal cords um, up and running and you're excited for that as well. Um, and I think that's the last thing we're going to be doing. Yes, that's the last thing that we're going to be doing. So I'm also going to be um, taking some of your questions. I meant to have a pen and paper here to write things down. So let me just grab that. It's on the floor. Um, so yeah, if you do have questions, you can put them in the chat. Um, and I will search through those at the end uh, to see if I can help you with any burning questions that you had about Portuguese um, that you haven't been able to answer yet. Um, I'm here to answer those questions as well. Elaine is here, lovely to see you. Oh, this is so fun, okay, brilliant. Well, it is dead on six o'clock, so I think we should um, make a start. Um, and so I have fancy new software, so I'm excited about this to see how it works. <laughs> so I'm going to switch now to my presentation and you can all tell me if you can see it. Um, just give me a scene, uh, in the comments, if you can see, um, the presentation that I have just put up there. Um, and we can get started with looking at some of the Christmas vocabulary. So. I'm just going to wait to make sure that you can all see that. Take a sip of my sip of my tea while I while we all get ready. <clears throat> so you're all seeing great hat. Thank you, John. Yes, I I I very I love my hat as well. It's got sparkles and everything. All right, so give me a C. Excellent. The C's are starting to come in now, so I know that you can see my screen. Brilliant. So, thought we'd start off nice and light. Um, we're just going to look at some Christmas vocabulary in Portuguese um, and practice your pronunciation. Okay, so if you already um, have pretty good pronunciation, see if before I say these words, you have your own guess and say them out loud as to how you think they should be said. 
So we are going to start nice and simple. So <laughs> we have Christmas tree and Father Christmas. Now, if you came to my Speak Portuguese Like a Pro um, webinar, yes, okay, I'm back, right? I can suddenly see you all again now. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Everyone said I was buffering. Lots of you said congelo, which is perfect because you learned that from me, right? To say that, uh, to say that it stopped, right? The the image froze. So I don't know why that happened, but it looks like you're back. Yes, Carol has told me I'm back as well. Yes. Okay, good. Because I was very upset for a second there. <laughs> Let's see. Um, if that happens again, I will just jump onto YouTube and do it uh, through there. Um, to to minimize the, uh, the the technical difficulties that I might have here, but uh, people are giving me a thumbs up, so I'll carry on. So let's get back into the uh, let's get back into the vocabulary. So the first is a árvore de Natal. So árvore and open a because we have that upward accent, and then u árvore árvore. Okay, a árvore de Natal. Good. So, um, then we have Father Christmas, o Pai Natal. So we all know that the word dad uh, is, uh, is Pai. So this is how the Portuguese also call him as well. In England, we call him Father Christmas. So in Portugal, they also call him Pai Natal, Pai Natal. So those ones are nice and easy to get started. Next, the decorations that you might be putting up in your house. As luzes de Natal. As luzes de Natal. So nice shiz on the end there. As luzes de Natal. Then we have as decorações. As decorações. All right. So these are um, a very common irregular ending, right? When we have plurals. When we have a word that ends in ao, like the singular decoração. When they go into uh, a plural, we add, we add oish instead. So decoração, one decoration, becomes decorações. So you need that nice nasal sound there when you say decorações. Can you use pinheiro for Christmas tree? Nige says. So that's the official term for like a fir tree. Um, you know, the, the, uh, what gardeners would use. Um, so if you want to be specific about um, the, the Christmas tree that you have, we would say árvore de Natal. So we also have a estrela, a estrela. So we also need a sh with that s there, because we know the rule. If they have a vowel, then an s, then a consonant, it's a sh sound, estrela. All right. Then next up we have os presentes, os presentes. So that's nice and easy. Presents. Present. There is another word, prenda, okay, and that is a feminine word, os presentes or a prenda. Excellent. Um, next up, a véspera de Natal, a véspera de Natal. So that means Christmas Eve, all right? So véspera means the night before anything the eve of okay so you could even you could even use it to describe it the day before your birthday or the day of some ever ever big event is the vespera okay the night before so a vespera de natal is the night before christmas or as we would say christmas eve then we have snow we all want to have snow at christmas don't we a white christmas so in portuguese that is a neve a neve. All right. I hope you're repeating these after me, even though I can't hear you. You can only hear me. <laughs> but I hope that you are repeating them so that you can be practicing your um, Portuguese pronunciation as well. All right. People are saying there are still more issues with the buffering and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a different connection here and see if that works better. Carol says it's snowing where she is. I think she's in New Mexico. Is that where you are at the moment, um, Carol? That is very cool. Um, so what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna 
try turning my Wi-Fi off and just be using uh, Ethernet connection. So let's see if this, uh, I'm using new software. And number three, uh, I'm quarantining in my parents' house and I, so I have to stay right at the back of the house and the internet isn't that great out here. So we've been trying to, uh, to get good internet connection. But hopefully, third time lucky, we're gonna be good now for the rest of the for the rest of the, the session. All right, so we've learned some Portuguese vocabulary so far. Next up, reindeer and sleigh. Very important. Okay. Achina. Achina. So this is where we need that Portuguese R, right? We can say rena. Some people will say rena, but it's more um, more common to say h. A hirna. Okay, so that is the word for reindeer. Next we have sleigh. Utreno. Utreno. All right, so we have to say o because that's an open o because we see that accent there. So it's not trenu like we would usually say words ending in an o, they have an u sound, right? U, utrenu. But no, utreno because we have that accent there. It gives us the clue that we need to make that an open O, okay? Next up, we have a vela. That's a nice one, isn't it? A vela, the candle. We often light candles at Christmas time. So this is something um, that you can now say in Portuguese. A vela, vou acender a vela. I am going to light the candle. Um, another super Christmassy one, os sinos. Os sinos, okay, the bells. So again, we can see how the definite article is changing here. If it was one bell, it would be o sino. Because we have two bells there, sinos, the o has to become plural as well, os sinos. And this is one of the most difficult things to get right and something that I see my students as well struggling with whenever a word, you know, becomes, has a particular gender or has, uh, is, becomes plural, we need to make sure that all the other words in the sentence, like the definite article or the adjectives, all the other words that relate to that word have to change as well. They all have to be masculine or they, and they all have to be plural if the, if the word itself is masculine and plural. So that's just something to remember as well. So next up, Holly, yeah? O azevinho, o azevinho, all right? So when we see that NH, we need a ñ sound, ñ, o azevinho, easy. Then snowman, if you have neve, if you have snow, you might want to build a boneco de neve, boneco de neve, that is a snowman so the word boneco actually means doll in general um but here we can use it in the sense of like a toy man made out of snow boneco de neve so that's a really fun one so i have actually put together a few little extra puzzles for you guys um based on the stuff that we are learning today so we learned all our christmas vocabulary just now so now you can put yourself um to the test to remember what those all mean vela who remembers what vela means you can write it in the chat but i know that you're a couple of seconds delayed <laughs> so it will take me a minute to uh to see your answers who can remember what Vela means the sentence I gave you was vou ascender a vela. Vou ascender a vela. Here come the answers. Yes, Millie, Akshay, uh, Nige, you're all getting it correct. Vela is indeed candle. What about? Let me look up another one. What about azevinho? What was azevinho? It's one of the um, one of the more natural things that exist around around uh, Christmas time, something you might find growing naturally outside. Azevinho, Holly, exactly, brilliant. Okay, so you guys can put yourself to the test um, to find these in this word search. Of course, you can't do that on the screen right now, but if you go to talkthestreets.com 
forward slash Christmas, what I've done is I've made the PDF that I'm showing here available to you. So you can print it out after the workshop and you can do the extra um, pu puzzles that go with this as well. Okay, so if you go to talkthestreets.com forward slash Christmas, put in your email and it will get sent to your email. And then after the session, you can enjoy uh, playing with the extra puzzles. There's also a, a story in there for you to read as well about the time that, that Father Christmas got sick. So that will be fun. So Carol says, kiss me under the holly. I think that's mistletoe that you're thinking of there, <laughs> Carol. Um, but that is all good. All right. So next up, I wanted to cover with you Christmas traditions in Portugal. Now, this is something that I have already um, that I have already covered on the Easy Portuguese channel. Um, so for those of you who haven't seen it, or for those of you who have, because it's good to, to go over it again. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this very short video. It's seven minutes long, where I interview uh, Portuguese people about what they like to do at Christmas. Okay, so we can learn a little bit more about what they do, what they eat, what they want for Christmas. And I want you to really listen out for the different vocabulary. Um, that maybe you didn't know that was related to, to Christmas, okay? And then afterwards we are going to um, talk about what we do um, in our own countries as well, all right? So again, fingers crossed that my internet doesn't, uh, doesn't disappear. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just drag that video in and you should be able to watch it. The subtitles are in English and Portuguese at the same time, so you should all be able to follow it, all right? So here we go. Again, give me a thumbs up and a sim, uh, vejo bem, if you can see and hear the video, okay? Olá pessoal e bem-vindo ao segundo episódio de Easy Portuguese. Feliz Natal! Já sabem, eu sou inglesa, então hoje quero saber se os portugueses têm tradições diferentes durante o Natal. O que comem? O que fazem? Venham comigo aos mercados de Natal para descobrir! Então, como é o Natal tradicional em Portugal? O Natal tradicional em Portugal começa na noite 24, uh, com o jantar em que reunimos a família toda, à volta do famoso bacalhau e do famoso peru. Um, nós temos vários doces típicos, temos bebidas típicas em que nos juntamos todos nesta altura do ano e passamos o dia 24 juntos. Jantamos, passamos a ceia e pela noite dentro. No outro dia andamos a saltar as casas, ou seja, vamos visitar a tia, o tio, a madrinha e e acaba por ser isto, <risos> no dia 25, no dia 24, abrimos os presentes à meia-noite. Presépios, com... depois à meia-noite há a missa do galo e o jantar é à meia-noite, a ceia é à meia-noite, a ceia de Natal é à meia-noite, com... é, é peru, é o bacalhau, que é a tradição do, do Natal, com couves, ovos cozidos, arroz de polvo, na minha terra é assim que se usa, arroz do polvo, depois disso tudo, e depois é o, as doçarias, rabanadas, eh, formigos, aqui, aqui chamam outra coisa, mas lá é formigos. É um doce que é feito com pão e mel e leite, tudo desfeito, depois leva frutos secos no meio, quando já está quase pronto, leva os frutos secos, depois aquilo fica pronto, fica, põe-se nos pratos e fica e colhado, não é? Fica uma... A gente parte a faca quando está frio para se comer. Maravilhoso! Agora estou com fome! <risos> e o que quer receber este, este Natal? O que, quer, uh, o que é que quer para o Natal este ano? Eu, o que eu quero para o Natal é saúde e paz para o mundo. Maravilhoso! Também eu! <risos> Durante as férias do Natal, uh, as compras para o Natal, Uh, vou ao teatro, na mesma, faço as mesmas coisas que faço nos meus tempos livres. 
E o que é que costuma comer? Comer no Natal, na mesa de Natal. Uh, bacalhau, uh, muitos queijinhos, uh, vinho, uh, doces, por aí. <risos> Tudo e mais alguma coisa. Pronto. E este ano, o que, o que é que quer para o Natal? Como prenda. Não quero nada, só paz e amor e felicidade para todos. Uau! E bem-estar, claro. Durante as férias de Natal, hein, aproveito para estar com a família, mais com os filhos, é, é, para passear, ver as luzes, as decorações de Natal, aproveitar para ver alguns amigos e pessoas conhecidas que só vêm nessa altura até a, a nossa zona onde vivemos. Portanto, no fundo é um bocadinho isso, está bem? E o que costuma comer durante o Natal? Então, para além de muitas coisas doces, normalmente na véspera de Natal, a chamada consoada de Natal, é típico comer bacalhau. Portanto, comemos sempre bacalhau. Umas vezes o bacalhau cozido, outras vezes o bacalhau com natas, vamos variando, mas é sempre o bacalhau. No dia de Natal, ou temos o cabrito, o borrego, o peru, portanto, são as comidas típicas que nós comemos aqui mais em Lisboa. Pois os doces, não é? O bolo rei, o tronco de Natal, a lampreia de Natal, os sonhos, as fatias de... Já estou cheio de fome, com tanta coisa boa. Portanto, é isto que comemos de Natal. Aqui, pelo menos aqui na zona de Lisboa e na nossa família, é isso que comemos de Natal. Bem? Muito fixe. Pois na Inglaterra comemos muito peru. Peru? Sim. Eu também gosto de peru, mas não gosto tanto. Também é a tradição portuguesa comer no Natal, comer o peru. Às vezes com o mesmo, mas não, em nossa casa não apreciamos tanto. Portanto, é mais o borrego, o cabrito. É? Então, o que costuma comer? Eu costumo comer bacalhau ou polvo abagareiro com a minha mãe. O que é que quer para o Natal? Uh, saúde. Saúde é o que eu mais quero. Para os meus, só. Mais nada. Então, o que costuma fazer durante o Natal? Durante o Natal eu costumo reunir com a minha família. Uh, de modo geral é na casa da minha avó. E estamos lá todos a conviver com umas camisolas engraçadas, com a sua. Uh, e pronto, é muitas músicas de Natal, há muitas crianças à volta e ficamos ali. Pronto, e o que costumam comer? Normalmente, carne. Eu nunca sei se é borrego ou se, se é cabrito, mas carne. Também há sempre o belo do bacalhau uh, e pronto, muito bolo de chocolate. Uh. Também adoro bolo de chocolate. Mas, no ano todo. <risos> Sempre. Um, e tem uma música preferida? Eu dizer tenho. Há uma música que eu me lembro de quando eu andava na escola, na escola primária, mas acho que é uma música que há pouca gente que conhece. Então, porque é... Ai, o tempo tão frio lá fora, mas em casa há calor agora. É o Natal que está quase a chegar. Vai nevar, vai nevar, vai nevar. Yes! Adorei! Olá, Pai Natal. Olá. Então, eu quero saber o que costuma fazer durante o Natal. Durante o Natal, costumo distribuir as... Ver se as crianças se portam bem, para depois distribuir os presentes pelas criancinhas que se portaram melhor. Pronto, e os meninos portugueses portam-se bem? São os melhores do mundo, são os que se portam melhor. Ótimo. Um... E o Pai Natal quer uh, receber alguma coisa deste Natal? A única coisa que eu quero é que as pessoas sejam felizes, que as crianças sejam felizes e que façam tudo para os pais também ficarem felizes. Obrigado por assistirem, pessoal. Desejo-vos um Natal espetacular e um ano novo cheio de paz e saúde. Uh, se quiserem aprender mais português comigo, inscrevam-se no canal e voltarei em 2020. Alright, so you should be back to me now. <laughs> I'm so glad that you all enjoyed that video and those of you who have seen it before, I hope that you noticed a little something uh, extra or different. That's the great thing about those videos, they're so detailed, I'm sure there are always 
things that you um, pick up when you watch it a second or third time. And that's what listening exercises are all about. You've heard me talking about it before. Don't get too caught up on trying to understand everything that's said because that's when you're gonna miss things. It's all about listening out for keywords that you do know and uh, taking it from there and being able to piece together the general gist um, of, what, of what's being said instead, okay? Amazing. So. Now let's go back to our presentation so that we can start speaking about the things that we do. So, uh, how do I get back to the, <laughs> how do I get back to the presentation? Uh, let me see, there we go. Here comes the workbook again. So don't forget, if you want this workbook as a PDF that you can print out, you can go to talkthestreets.com forward slash Christmas and it will be sent to your inbox okay so you can do the extra puzzles read the extra stories that are in there if you go to talkthestreets.com forward slash Christmas all right so now after learning about what the Portuguese do as their Christmas traditions and hopefully that answered some of your questions about that now I want to hear what you guys do all right so we've got Six questions here. Na véspera de Natal, costumo. So, the, word, the verb costumar means to usually. So, the translation of this first question is, on Christmas Eve, I usually... dot 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 leaves it blank for you to, to tell me in the chat, okay? Then, no dia de Natal, costumo comer. So, this would mean, on Christmas Day, I usually... Eat. All right. Then number three, numero três, trocamos presentes no dia, and then leaving a gap to tell me when you exchange presents. Okay, the verb trocar is to exchange. One of the questions I get asked often is, what's the difference between mudar and trocar? So mudar means change. And trocar is exchange, when you exchange one thing for another. So you give presents and you receive presents, so it's an exchange. So we say trocamos presentes, okay? Número cuatro. Cantamos, we sing. What do you sing at Christmas? And if you enjoyed Vai Nevar, Vai Nevar, Vai Nevar, stay tuned because that is the song that we are going to be learning in Portuguese, okay? So, number four, cantamos, tell me what you sing. Número cinco, number five, gosto muito de... So just tell me something that you enjoy doing um, on Christmas Day. I like to... what? And then finally, I want to know what you want for Christmas. Este ano para o Natal quero, okay? This, uh, this year... For Christmas, I want. All the Portuguese were so selfless. All they wanted was peace and happiness for everybody else. <laughs> oh, I was just checking that I wasn't muted then and you could all still hear me, but I think you can, so that's good. So, I will start with my example. Na véspera de Natal, costumo... What do I usually do? Costumo um, jogar jogos de tabuleiro. Jogos do tabuleiro, they are board games, okay? I like, uh, on Christmas Eve, I usually play board games. Na véspera de Natal, costumo jogar jogos de tabuleiro com a minha família. Mm -hmm. No dia de Natal, costumo co comer borrego, também com a minha família. É a minha mãe que faz. Costumo comer borrego. I usually eat Lamb. Then, número 3, trocamos presentes no dia 25, na minha casa, trocamos presentes no dia uh, 25. Número 4, cantamos, o que, con, o que cantamos? Cantamos muita coisa, gosto de cantar com a minha irmã e tocamos Ukulele. <risos> Gosto muito de fazer isso. Uh, e número 6. Um, o que quero para Natal? Este ano, para o Natal, eu quero... Quero uma nova cozinha. Mas acho que o Pai Natal não consegue trazer uma nova cozinha. 
Então vou, vou uh, pedir para um novo diário. Sim, um novo diário. Melhor. Ok. So that was my example. Please tell me if you are still there. Give me a thumbs up in the chat to let me know that you haven't gone to sleep and that you are still with me and that you are ready to tell me what you do um, at Christmas as well. So you can take those sentences and you can say Nevespera de Natal, costumo, x, x, x. Okay. All right. So some of you are starting to answer now. Excellent. So I am going to wait to hear what you do. You can pick any one of those um, and you can tell me what it is that you do. All right. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to tell me. All right. And I'm going to check in. So I'm going to choose a couple to put on the screen here because that will be fun, won't it? Let me see. All right. So tennis says, uh, can you, can you guys see that? Este Natal, este ano para o Natal quero vacinações para todos. <laughs> really good. You want vaccinations for everybody. I think that's a lovely idea, Dennis. Thank you very much. Uh, I think that's a great idea. Who else can we add up here? Um, all right. So who else? We've got Carol. Let's put you, let's add you up here. No dia de Natal, costumo comer cordeiro. Excellent. So that's that's specifically a leg of lamb, right? Beautiful. I'm sure that is very delicious. Que delicia. Que delicia. I'm sure that that is delicious in your house, Carol. Who else do we have here? So. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, okay. Joma. Hi, Joma. Lovely to see you here. He says, Na Finlandia trocamos os presentes já. Na véspera de Natal. That is a really well written sentence. In Finland, we exchange presents already on Christmas Eve. So, yeah, all around the world they have different traditions about when you do that. Um, who else? Who else? Da -da 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 Este ano para Natal, let's put Tammy's up here, this is a good one. Este ano para o Natal, quero, para todo, quero que todo o mundo volte ao normal. I want the whole world to go back to normal. That's also a very uh, nice thought there as well. All right, perfect. Lots of you are sharing these now, which is excellent. So that is really, really nice. Let's have Stuart's up here as the last one before we move on to our song. Gosto muito de simplesmente passar tempo com a minha família. Muito fixe. Muito obrigada, Stuart. That's really nice. All right. So, the next thing. So, the next thing I wanted to um, share with you. Last time I did a series of live broadcasts, a couple of people suggested to me that I add a donation button so that people can donate um, for this free lesson and also all of the free lessons that I have lovingly made for you all year. And I thought that that was a really, really good idea. However, I thought it would be even nicer considering that it's Christmas, that instead of donating something to me um, for the, the YouTube lessons that I've been doing, is you could donate to a charity um, instead. So what I have done is I have um, set up a partnership with a local charity in Portugal. Serve the City is a global charity, um, but they have a, they have a, um, a group in, specifically in Portugal. And they're an amazing charity. They basically, they organize volunteers and they distribute volunteers to different causes that are very, very important. So for example, putting on dinners um, for the homeless, for visiting orphanages, for visiting old people's home, uh, homes for people who don't have anybody to be with. Um, so it's just a really incredible charity. And given that it is Christmas, um, I will certainly be donating to them as well this Christmas. So if you did want to offer something, as a thank you, not only for, for this session, but for all of the videos that I've put together for you over the year, um, then I would love it if you could visit talkthestreets.com 
forward slash donate and there will be a PayPal link there. You just press the button and it will take you to PayPal to make a, a small donation to, to serve the city. Um, so it goes directly to the charity, it doesn't come to me, it will go directly to them. And also on that page I've included more information about what they do, but it's in Portuguese so it's going to give you a good opportunity to practice your Portuguese and learn a bit more about what they do. So I just wanted to mention that here. So there's 157 of you on this live broadcast right now. And when I upload this to YouTube later, there'll be even more of you. Um, so even if a few of you just gave um, a, few, a few euros, whatever it is that you um, would be able to spare, uh, then I'm sure that they would really, really, really appreciate it. Um, so that would be that would be lovely. So if you wanted to offer something um, as a thank you um, for my channel, then that is where I would love you to to send your donations. All right. So once again, talkthestreets.com forward slash donate if you wanted to to donate something. So thank you in advance for anybody who um, wants to do that. And then let's carry on because we've got a song to learn, haven't we? So let's carry on. Okay. So. <laughs> We saw it in the video and lots of you commented that you really liked it and uh, somebody's shocked at how good my English is, that's because I am English, <laughs> I'm sorry to break it to you, um, that's the only reason why I have excellent uh, English, it's because I, uh, you know, I'm not Portuguese, but anyway, that's just a side note about me, that's not important, <laughs> um, let's listen to Vai Nevar, so in England, uh, and around the world we know this song as Let It Snow. In Portuguese it is Vai Nevar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the lyrics with you slowly so that you can practice saying it out loud. Now I want you to say this out loud because when we come to sing it you're going to need to have practiced, okay? So say these out loud with me as we go through. And then of course we are going to sing it, alright? So Ai, o tempo tá o frio lá fora, mas em casa há calor agora e nós pela janela ao olhar vai nevar, vai nevar, vai nevar, ok? So what does this mean? Ai, ai is the Portuguese way of saying oh, so we start this with oh, oh the weather outside, so in Portuguese we start with ai. Oh, the weather outside, oh, the weather is so cold outside, but at home it's warm now. And we are looking through the window. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It's going to snow, it's going to snow, it's going to snow. Brilliant. So that's the first one. Next we have. Há um belo bolo bom na mesa. E uma... Vela bonita acesa. É o Natal a chegar. Vai nevar, vai nevar, vai nevar. So what does this mean? There is a lovely cake on the table and a beautiful candle lit. Okay, acesa is lit. We learned the word for candle earlier, so you should know that now. It is Christmas coming, or Christmas is coming. It's going to snow, it's going to snow, it's going to snow. Okay, so I'm going to read that one more time slowly. Ai o tempo tá o frio lá fora. Say it out loud with me, because when it comes to singing, you're going to need to practice. Ai o tempo tá o frio lá fora, mas em casa há calor agora. E nós pela janela a olhar... Vai nevar, vai nevar, vai nevar. Há um belo bolo bom na mesa e uma vela bonita acesa. É o Natal a chegar. Vai nevar, vai nevar, vai nevar. Alright, next we've got a couple more verses. So, quando logo ao dizer boa noite. Com vontade de adormecer, volta a neve a cair lá fora e o dia quase nascer. So, when we say good night, with 
Um, so, com vontade de means to feel like doing something. Eu estou com vontade de whatever you want to do. I feel like doing something. Adormecer is the verb to fall asleep. They actually have one verb that means to fall asleep. Adormecer. So, when we say goodnight, when I feel like falling asleep, volta a neva cair lá fora, the snow starts to fall outside again. And the day is almost being born. Nashir, to be born. The day is almost being born. All right. Uh, then, acordamos e continua. Muito frio a viver na rua. E o dia nasce a cantar. Vai nevar, vai nevar, vai nevar. Okay? So, acordamos. We wake up. E continua. And it continues. Muito frio a viver na rua. There is lots of um, coldness living outside. E o dia nasce a cantar. And the day is born singing. Vai nevar, vai nevar, vai nevar. <laughs> okay. Amazing. So I'll read this one bit more slowly again. And then we are going to sing it. Okay. So. Quando logo ao dizer boa noite... Com vontade de adormecer, volta a neve a cair lá fora e o dia quase nascer. Acordamos e continua muito frio a viver na rua e o dia nasce a cantar. Vai nevar, vai nevar, vai nevar. Yay! All right. So. You know what time it is. It's time to actually sing this together. Okay, so I hope that you've, I hope you've got it down. All right, do it loud because there isn't really anybody else to hear you. The the hundred or so people <laughs> that are listening to this can't hear you. So let's do it loud like we mean it. All right, try and follow along with me. And this is a request. If anybody wants to film this, or after you've had the chance to practice it, when you've downloaded the workbook and you've been practicing it. Uh, put it on Instagram and tag me at Talk the Streets so that I can see your efforts at singing Vine of Art, okay? That would make my Christmas. That would be just so good, okay? So let's get ready to sing. I'm very excited. So, Ai, o tempo tá frio lá fora, mas em casa há calor agora, e nós pela janela olhar, vai nevar, vai nevar, vai nevar. Há um belo bolo bom na mesa E uma vela bonita acesa É o Natal a chegar Vai nevar, vai nevar, vai nevar Quando logo ao dizer boa noite Com vontade de adormecer Volta a neve a cair lá fora E o dia quase a nascer Acordamos e continua Muito frio a viver na rua E o dia nasce a cantar Vai nevar, vai nevar, vai nevar Yes! Uma salva de palmas para vocês Uma salva de palmas para vocês A round of applause for you guys Because I'm sure that you I'm sure that you gave it your all and I'm sure you'll be watching this back, right? So that you can you can practice it more. <laughs> Stuart says he was going to play his guitar at the same time. So that's wonderful. Um, and Brittany says that she is going to post this on Instagram. So that is amazing. I can't wait to... Anybody who is on Instagram, please send me your renditions of this. Um, that will make me very, very happy. Wonderful. All right. So... <laughs> what do we have next? I think that brings us to the end of the planned content. We do have um, this little story about when Pai Natal está doente. If you know what that means, Father Christmas is sick. So there is a little story on here um, about when Father Christmas got sick, but we don't have time to, to cover that now. Um, so again, if you want this PDF um, to do the extra bits and bobs that I've put in there for you, then definitely visit talkthestreets.com forward slash Christmas so that you can get all the content that we were um, looking at today and you can do the extra stuff. So that will be fun. And also a little reminder, if you did want to give me a Christmas present, 
Um, I'm paying those forward to serve the city in Portugal because it's been a really horrible year. If it's been horrible for us, you can imagine how horrible it's been for, um, you know, people who have a lot less. So if you do want to give me a Christmas present, <laughs> go to talkthestreets.com forward slash donate um, and donate a Christmas present, a, a small donation via PayPal um, to serve the city. And that will make me super happy. So in the last few minutes, what I can do is... Um, answer a couple of questions. So if anybody has um, questions that they want to ask me, I'm going to sit here with my cup of tea. To be honest, it's gone cold. Já está frio. O chá. Mas pronto. It's already cold, but anyway, I'm going to finish drinking it. <laughs> if you have uh, any questions you want me to ask, um, then you can ask them now um, in the last little 10 minutes. Um, so we have a question here. Blah. Uh, is it short for Pella? Yeah, exactly. So we are looking through the window. Por a janela. Por a gets contracted to Pella. Um, but in songs, we often have uh, less syllables, right? We can't fit them into the song. So when you see that little apostrophe, it just means that there's a letter missing. Um, so that is what it means there. So that was a good question. Um, does anybody have more questions? Guilherme Batista. Caramba, português de Portugal parece português brasileiro quando cantando. It's true. It's a little bit like um, how British English, whenever you hear people singing, um, it sounds like American English, right? So I guess it's just... I guess that's just a just a thing. Um, qual é o meu doce natálico favorito? Boa pergunta. Eu adoro tudo. O que eu gosto mais é bolo de chocolate. Bolo de chocolate. Adoro. Mas eu como, como eu disse no vídeo, eu como durante o ano todo. <laughs> I eat chocolate cake all year round. Uh, mas sim, gosto muito de gosto muito de um, bolo de chocolate. Um, amazing. So, unless more people have questions, which it sounds like you don't, you're, you're bored of learning Portuguese this year, I guess. <laughs> it's been a, it's been a long time. Um, what level do you think is fluent, B two, C one, or C two? Well, technically, C one and C two is when you are able to hold your own in any type of conversation. Um, so that's what we um, would would. Uh, would consider to be um, your your fluent level um, so that's the answer to that one so b2 is kind of higher intermediate a1 a2 beginner b2 b1 b2 intermediate c1 c2 advanced um, so that's cool um, is it turkey on christmas day uh, do the portuguese eat turkey on christmas day yes um sim um como o senhor disse no vídeo em portugal também comem peru um, no Natal, okay? They also eat uh, turkey um, on Christmas Day. Um, eu não gosto de peru. Eu, eu acho que é uma carne muito seca. I think it's a, a, a meat that is very dry. Um, so, no. Tens alguma recomendação de livros portugueses? Um, my favourite is children's books. Um, I think it's really helpful, especially if you're living in Portugal just to go down to Pingo Dos or to um, one of the supermarkets, they all sell like really short children's books. And if you're learning, that is such a good way um, of learning. So I hope that is, uh, that is interesting. I've got lots of Brazilians on here, which is really fun. I think I saw a, a spike in Brazilians following me, following my recent video, um, uh, which is really fun. Uh, so I think lots of them like to listen for my English, <laughs> so I'm glad that that is also helpful for you guys. Um, você conhece outros lugares do Brasil sem ser o Nordeste? Sim, eu fiz uma viagem. Um, eu visitei Natal, uh, Salvador, uh, João Pessoa e uh, Rio de Janeiro, Chapada Diamantina. Uh, São Paulo, um, sim, mas eu tenho muito vontade de voltar um, para o Brasil, um, mas quem sabe quando podemos viajar de novo, 
mas uh, será super fixe, it will be super fixe, muito legal, como vocês dizem. <laughs> awesome, all right. So, I am going to say goodbye now, because we are at our 45 minutes. So, desejo-vos um Feliz Natal e um, um Ano Novo Cheio de Paz Saúde, como eu, eu disse no vídeo. Thank you so, so much for all of the support that you have shown me in this year. I only started this YouTube channel in March. So to be now here with 10,000 followers um, and to have so many people telling me that they find my videos helpful is absolutely amazing. So I think that, um, yeah, I feel very, very lucky and I'm really glad that it has been helpful. So I will be back soon. I'm going to do one more video this year. Um, and then I am going to um, take a little break for Christmas. So look out for my next video and then I will see you again em janeiro. Então, beijinhos para todos. Muito obrigado por assistirem. Até a próxima. Um, pronto, e beijinhos para todos. Obrigada. Tchau. Tchau.